guys, Blaze here with West Coast Wing Foil. Thanks for tuning into the channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing something a little bit different and we're gonna go pick up my brand new board where the finishing touches are being done as we speak by legendary shaper Rob Molnar of Robert's Composites. So we're gonna head over and go to the shop, take you behind the scenes and see how boards are made there and learn a little bit about Rob and see this brand new beauty that I cannot wait to take on the water. A lot of people know the Roberts board brand. He literally makes world-class boards that are on the world circuit, but not a lot of people know about the guy behind the board. So if you don't know Rob, Rob is a genuine, passionate individual, completely consumed by his obsession with innovation and constantly striving to push the limits of what is possible. Quality runs deep in his blood, and he's built the Roberts brand to deliver the highest quality in every element of the boards that they make. Cotter. Hey. Here we are, Rob. What's up, Torsten? What's up? This is it. Here it is. Oh it's, it's my God! Yeah. Well, look at this thing. It's super. This awesome. is insane. What did you do this morning? This morning we uh, well, actually we masked off the bottom. We sanded it, painted it white, painted it yellow, got the graphics on it, painted it black. And now we're just putting all the last little details on it. And then next thing we do is uh, clear coat it shiny. And this... then tomorrow the pad goes on and you will go ripping. This thing is... How much fucking, does it weigh? Fucking light. I don't know, it's eight and a half pounds right now. <laughs> It'll be a little bit more than this. It'll be a little hair under 10 pounds when it's done. Wow. Yeah, with the pad on it. Yeah. And, and we, so... did, we did make this thing bomber. Like this is a bomber board. Like you'll be able to do whatever you want to it. And then just so people know, like how does light impact your riding? Well, lightness is, it, when you're in the air, it's super responsive. When you're trying to get up in the air, it's really light to pump up. So the, the weight on, on your board and the way it's concentrated, it's all concentrated right at the, the mast. So we get maximum stiffness there. So the rest of the board feels insanely light. Like the noses on our boards feel really light because they're actually very short compared to most hmm. boards out there too. So typically these boards, like what, Rob and Torsten just made for me here. They they retail for about four grand. So, so any of the any of the designs that we'll put on the site are kind of the our recommended packages. That's what we're creating, Rob. I'm telling Rob right now. Yeah, All the renders sense. that we have on yeah. the site are going to be the recommended colors. But if you want to customize it, then you can customize. We it. can. Pretty cool shaping room. This is this is where all the magic happens, right in here. This is the shaping room. The madhouse. The ma the madhouse. So basically, Rob and I kind of like met each other and just started hitting it off. I said I want to create video content about wing foiling. He obviously makes the most incredible boards for what, like a hundred years now? No, Blaze, that's total bullshit. What you're saying? That's not how it happened in my eyes. Oh yeah. What happened in my eyes is that. You came in here and you wanted to build a board. And I was like, right on, the guy's gonna build a board. Just wait and see, he's gonna be back here because his board's gonna be shit. So sure enough, he came back in. And then we uh, built Blazer board because he just had to have one. I guess the thing for us is that we want to make sure that everybody that comes in here leaves a friend. And all this is, is it's a friend making business is what it is to me. And I've loved it, it's what's kept me in it. Financially, there's been no reason why I should be staying this as long as I am, but you know what? I way too much and I'm gonna do this till I drop dead. I'm not going anywhere. He's not lying. He is not <laughs> lying. And it's true, I did try and make my own board and despite the advice you gave me that I did not follow, I made the board, a, a board to dock starting and wake foiling, and it does work. It's definitely not Robert's quality, but it does work. Um, but I fell in love with the first board that um, Rob made me and then uh, we basically just started collaborating on video content and uh, I just stand behind their boards more than anyone else so uh, if you are looking for the best foil board on the planet then Roberts is really the only option you should be considering. I don't even know how you how you know what all this stuff is it's just like to me it's just like bottles and bottles of I don't oh, even just know what. shit? Like, what's that? Well this is a rapid accelerator this is magic it's like $300 for this but it makes things it speeds up everything. I'm surprised it's not blowing up in my hand. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take a step back. <laughs> yeah. So Rob basically has a PhD in making everything carbon. I don't know, like from foil boards to boats. What what haven't you worked on? We seem to work on everything that no one else can make, which is kind of weird. And it's and all the people that 
don't make it is because they know there's no money in it. But I do it because it's like, oh yeah, fuck, let's do it. <laughs> so the crazy thing about Rob is he's basically not a business guy. He is a incredible artist when it comes to boards and carbon, but he really does this because he loves doing it and not to try and make money. So everything that you get out of Rob's hands is gonna be super high quality and he's just basically charging enough to allow him to keep doing this and keep doing what he loves. And if that's not an incredible reason to support someone, then I don't know what is. So I created a small decal to put on the side of the board just to represent the West Coast, West Coast wing foil brand, uh, but I made the lettering really small, so Torsten who does all the graphics, uh, probably a little pissed at me right now because he's gotta meticulously peel uh, each part of the logo off so we can then stick it on the board. Whoops, sorry Torsten. So you know, <clears throat> people are good board makers when it's lunchtime and literally every time they eat lunch, this is their spot and all they're doing is checking the wind in every possible place to see if they can bail out and go sailing. Yeah, look, up to Porch Hole. See, this is the push going in, the inflow. I do like this blaze we did here with the yellow in here. That's a nice detail. That's awesome, yes. I like it too. We're calling it Black and Blaze, right? That's sure. Anyone who buys this board, you have to call it Black and Blaze. Yeah. There it is. So. Each Robert's board is handmade right here in Canada, so locally made, which is incredible because not there's really just not a lot of local board builders anywhere in the world anymore. So if you want one of the few people who are custom making, hand making, locally making boards, Robert's is the place to get to get it. So basically, last steps to finish this are are what? We got to write out the tracks and the handle, and then a uh, pad goes on the deck of the board. And then basically we'll take it to the water. Okay, thanks Rob, I'm out. You can see Blaze, <laughs> feel the water. There's nothing better in my lifetime to go ripping past you on my windsurf. Oh yeah, I guarantee I you'll do that. Roasting you. All right guys, well that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed coming along behind the scenes in the Roberts lab. If you are looking for anything wing foil related, whether it's boards, foils, hand wings, or accessories, check out our gear at westcoastwingfoil.com. Anything that you buy from the website helps fuel this channel and it allows me to uh, create content about all the things that I love doing. So smash that like button, consider subscribing, and let me know in the video description below if you have any questions about Roberts, about boards, about wing foiling, about learning to wing foil. Love hearing where you guys are at in your journey and learning more about all the people that uh, feed off of the content that's created through this channel. So thanks again for watching guys and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Peace.